millions of people, black people, died, either enslaved or because they were enslaved or killed. We were a slave country for a uh, hundred years longer than we have now the country free of slaves. This is not a thing that happened 150 years ago. This is a thing that happened for 250 years in America, right? And there's, there's death, there's torture, there's terror. There's also 250 years of millions of people giving labor for which they were never compensated. It made America a rich country, and it made people in America very rich. And even if you're descended from somebody who was not a slave owner, the whole society benefited. If I was rich, I could build a school. I could build a hospital. I could donate to the local cultural institutions and events. Everybody, other than the slaves, benefited. Uh, yes, uh, clearly slavery is the original sin of America, and it did occur for, for a couple hundred years, and it, and, and it, it caused it, it, horrific harm. But it still was 150 years ago. People keep saying it was 150 years ago. No, it didn't. We, we kept a, a, a kind of quasi-slavery long after actual slavery was eliminated. Uh, we built into the 13th Amendment the clause that says you, you cannot be forced to give uh, involuntary labor unless you are convicted of a crime, which is a backdoor that allowed southern states to base, basically accuse black people, even children, of all sorts of crimes and to put them in a system that we'll call convict leasing, where they would lease out these bodies, again, free labor, to farmers, to industry, to anybody. This happened until the 1930s. They allowed Reconstruction to fail. And right after it did, states, it started with Mississippi in 1890, rushed in, called constitutional conventions, and they are not shy about it at all. They say, we are here to white, right, white supremacy into the DNA of these states. And those laws exist until the 1960s. The idea that we're just talking about chattel slavery is false. The idea that all of the injury was happened 150 years ago is false. We have to get our heads around what we did and how much we benefited from that and how much of those tax dollars that we had that black people were paying on the system were not being used for them at all. Their schools were underfunded. Their neighborhoods were under... I, I grew up in one of these segregated neighborhoods. I watched my neighbor's house burn down because there was one fire hydrant in the entire black neighborhood. And they, by the time they got that water from that fire hydrant, that house... This comment was left underneath the video that I shared on yesterday where Charles Blow was given education. He was preaching to racist as Rick Santorum who likes to go around saying yes slavery was a horrible time in American history but that was 150 years ago. That video. And, and Charles Blow had to come out of a bag on him. Mm -hmm. And this commenter says, it's a miracle black Americans are doing as well as we are. This country has perpetuated such depravity against us. I agree. And I believe that's why black Americans are hated so much. Because with everything that they have done to black people in this country to try to squash us to try to snuff us out we are still here we are still striving we are still growing we are still persevering we are determined we are determined to have our place in this society we will not give up and they cannot stand that about us. They are mad that we are in their faces demanding our equality, demanding our respect for the contributions that we give and have given to this society, that we are demanding to be treated as equal. They hate that about us. They hate it when they see that we are unified. So they work double time to break that unification up. They hate it that with all that is thrown at us, we continue 
to be adored. They hate that. They hate that our culture is number one around the world. Easily recognized in every country around the world. It is why I believe that Africans in the diaspora outside of the United States, it is why they hate black Americans too. They hate us because they not like us. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. And that's on period. Don't really actually give a shit about your own issues. And you want to know how I know? Well, hello there. So what slur does your ethnicity call black people? I can't keep up. <laughs> hey, Asian people. Come here, okay? Um, I don't know what ethnicity is, and I don't care to find out. So since y'all all like to blame our race as a whole when something bad happens to you, uh, you know, the Stop Asian Hate movement that y'all did to overshadow Black Lives Matter. Yeah, that one blamed it on us. So, you know, <laughs> it's funny because in the last video I made on you, I indicated that this was something that you would do. Of course you're okay. It's working hand in hand and bloody bloody with Candace Owens. She talks shit about Black people, not Asians. Come get them. And I'm not defending Gentia in no way at all, but... You used his page where you saw he talks about random things. And then you showed your page of your social activism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what you built your platform on. So do your job. Y'all excuse me right quick. I'm Googling the list of slurs that different Asian ethnicities call blacks. This is why I say I am against BIPOC unity. This is why I say I'm not BIPOC, I'm black. Because your POC friends will throw you under the fucking bus at the earliest opportunity when they've reached their goals after riding our coattails. Y'all remember when you fought so hard to get rid of affirmative action so that y'all could have easier access to schools because black people benefited from it more? It's funny because y'all make a half the population of black people yet your entrance rates into these ivy league schools and other schools are higher than ours y'all forget that on the hierarchy black people are at the very very bottom but asian people are right under whites and if given an opportunity to behave white in america well they're gonna take it See, y'all BIPOC unity black people forgot about the Latasha Harlins of the world. Y'all forgot that not only were white people following this around the stores. Y'all forgot everything about what you grew up being taught for your protection. He openly admits that the lives in Palestine are more important than ours. The Arab Palestinians, because that's all they talk about. What about the Afro Palestinians living in the town called Al Abi, meaning slaves? I won't mention it every time. I don't care how much y'all try to drag me. Oh, this is gonna, this is just gonna breed hate between this is just one Asian person. There's already division. It's in their cultures. And if you don't think that Asian people are right under white people, you think that's crap. And please tell me, if white people disappear today, who do you think would be more comfortable replacing? I just don't care anymore. I really don't know how it sounds. It's facts. It's facts. And y'all all knew that from your parents. They told you before you got on this app. I don't care what y'all call me. It's the truth. Hello guys, after watching this video, I really want to know what you think about this video in the comment section because today I don't have much to say. I just have uh, some uh, words of encouragement to our fellow brothers and sisters who are watching us and uh, be, you know, we are in this together. So, it's true that black people have suffered a lot, by the way. Black people have faced it all. Black people have been um, robbed of uh, so many things and this oppressor is not ready to give up because he is very much determined to make sure that uh, 
we are totally down and we cannot stand up again. So black people have cried. We've tried as much as we can to cry and raise our voices. But nobody is ready to hear our voices. Nobody is ready to listen to us. Nobody is willing to come to our aid, to our help. But this is what I'm going to say to my black people. We should not give up, no matter what, uh, what they do to us, no matter how much they oppress us. We should not give up, okay? I know the society doesn't like us. The society doesn't like us. The society discriminated us. So, to be a black person, it means uh, you have to go all through this. And uh, that's what's going to make you to be a black person. And that's what's going to make you to be strong. So, I just want to encourage my fellow black people who are watching me from America, from uh, Africa. Please, let us not give up. Let us not give up. Let's always stand in to defend our people. Because nobody's ready to defend our people except ourselves. But if we uh, collaborate with the oppressor to oppress your fellow brothers and sisters, it's, go it's going to be a curse on you. It will always be your brother's keeper. Stand in for them. Defend them no matter how much they go through. No matter how much of a percentage of oppression they get in the society. Always stand with your fellow brother and sister. Not see someone uh, trying to push some assault to your brother and just stay there watching, not taking any action. If you see the oppressor trying to assault your brother or your sister, please take action. I just want to encourage you people, let's always defend our fellow brothers and sisters. Wherever we find them in a problem, let's step in and help them and defend them. Love black person. Show them love. Because these people, they are going through a lot of things in the society. The society does not like this person. The society rejects this person simply because of his skin color. It's now time that pe people are waking up and uh, let's wake other people up who have not woken up. Especially on the sides of religion. Religion was brought to Africa. This current religion that we are using today was brought to us by them. And the same same religion is telling us that uh, we have one God who made us into his own image and likeness. It means we are equal and um, nobody is superior, nobody is inferior. But the information on the ground is t totally different from what we read in the scriptures. This religion is telling me that I was made in the same image and likeness, but there is somebody who sees himself as much important than me. So it means therefore this religion is not helping me. It doesn't help me at all. Everything that we see in the society are all system, including our education system, is all a structure of a system branded and made uh, to bring us down. So we should always be so much careful uh, while handling these uh, systems because education is also a system, religion is also a system. Because some people are very true to religion, let us not uh, be misused, let us not accept to be discriminated. Let us try to defend ourselves, no matter what's happening. The person who brought this religion has robbed us of, of so many things. He has robbed us of our respect. He has robbed us of our values in the society. He has robbed us of our culture. He has robbed us of our very uh, precious items like gold, silver, diamond. And they're still robbing from us by uh, plotting so many confusion uh, so that we go fully down. But the God of Israel, the God who made heaven and earth, still loves us. That's why we can still soldier on no matter how much uh, trap they put on the way to bring us down. You can still soldier on. I'm not trying to go against um, what other people believe, but it, it depends with how much you believe, what you believe, what you believe in. If you believe in a human being, in a pastor, in a bishop, that is it. If you believe in yourself, that is it. If you believe in your pastor, that is it, okay? Whatever you believe in, just believe in it. I love you so much, guys. And if you're watching me for the first time, I request that you hit on that button to subscribe. And if you are our returning subscriber, I mean, or viewer, please, 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 we really appreciate you so much. And may God the Almighty bless you so, so much, okay?